Hi, this is Judd with Presenter Media. In this video, we'll be talking about customizable videos. So, customizable videos are videos that you can add your own logo, you can add your own images, you can change, um, you change the colors of. So we'll get a we'll get a quick look at that. So I'm signed into Presenter Media, and in the top navigation, where it says Custom Graphics, just hover over that and click on custom video. So once you click on that, um, it'll show you a list of um, all the videos that are customizable and you can go page through the pages to get ideas of what to customize and and <clears throat> and do that. And let's see, let's start with one here just to get rolling. Um, yeah, let's start with this one where the these robots are building this this block um, stack. To customize it, you just click customize this item and it'll bring up the customizer and you'll see a work area right here and this is the, the area that you'll design to change what the, the final uh, video will look like. So um, I can change the background to a new color like that. Um, there's just a couple elements on here that I can either change or delete. I just hit delete on my keyboard and I can change this to, oops, yeah, custom, oops, custom, customizable. That, oops, I forgot, I hit the wrong button. Okay, that looks good. And I just changed the text by, uh, you can click into these boxes over underneath the quick edit and highlight them and change them that way or you can double click into them over here in the work area just like any um, text editor and edit them that way. Um, there's an image on this one and I could change that with my own image by right clicking go change element and I can either change it out with a photo an image I upload from my uploads by clicking this purple upload media and choose from my computer and load one in that way. Uh, I'm just going to cancel. Or I can uh, uh, select a clip art item that I want to load in. So uh, I can do a search up here for clip art or I can just page through and find one that I want. Um, I'm going to go with this check mark. Just add that there. That looks good. Um, if I wanted to have like a, a photo in the background, um, I could go insert uh, photos by unsplash and select a photo. Um, let's say I want a mountain in the background. So what I do is just drag that over the, the work area and I can click right click on it and send to back and I'll actually right click on this and send that to back. <clears throat> okay so now that I have this behind all my text and over here and if I select layers this will show me all the layers on on my work area and you can see that the the mountain is the second to the the bottom um, if I drag up that color it'll be on top of that if I drag it below it'll be below it um, I'm going to change the text color by clicking on the text and selecting this color option up here and I'm, just, I'm going to change it to, actually I'm going to change it to the green. So um, with that text selected, I, I click this little um, color picker and I can just pick the color of that green, something like that. And I'm going to change this text by clicking it and changing it to just a dark color. And let's say that's, that's all I want for this video. Um, ready to go. Uh, one thing, if I select this image, I can um, go to filters and change the color of the hue if I, if I want to change that color and then I could customize it around that and that looks good. Change that to uh, darker text, something like that. Okay, let's say I got that designed how I want it and laid out how I want it. If I go to the bottom, um, where it says download format, I can download it as an MP4 or as a PPTX. So a PPTX will just give me a, a PowerPoint file 
that I can upload or I can load into PowerPoint. MP4 will give me a video that I can use in PowerPoint or on social media or or um, different uh, video editing uh, software. So let's just build and download. And you can see in the top right corner, the gear is turning. That's telling me it's being processed. And I can keep working on presenter media and downloading items um, as that processes. So I'm going to go back to the home page, go to custom graphics, go down to custom video, and I'm going to take a look at. So with customizable items, there's a customizer version two, which is what we just um, used, where you can change the the colors and add your own images and and all that good stuff. And there's customizer version one. This is the first version of the customizer that came out um, a long time ago. And it's if you click into one of these, you'll tell it's the older style. Probably by you can see that it has text on the video, but it'll, it will also say customize text and colors. So it'll say something a little bit different. And if I click into it, it's going to look different. So it'll give you the preview over here on the left of what the video looks like. And it'll give you um, either one or multiple text boxes you can change. So you can change these to your own words. And note that underneath it says maximum characters 24. That's is how many characters you can actually add to this video without it um, looking bad because the text will get too long. Um, you can go over to image filters and change the hue to whatever color you want. And I like that. And then once that's uh, ready, I can also change the saturation if I want to bump it up or turn it down and the brightness as well if I want up or down. Okay, so once that's completed, I'll go down to the download options and I can click MP4 or PPTX. Once again, I'm going to just keep uh, MP4 video selected and build and download. Okay, up in the right hand corner, that's processing again by the gear turning. And I'm going to go to My Media and, and Uploads. So My Media and Uploads is where all your customizable designs, whether it's uh, clip art animations or videos, go to live after you get done building them or sending them on to process. And you can see that this top one is processing. And your items will be listed by the whatever the newest item that you customize is. It'll be at the top of the list here. Or um, you can page through the pages if you have many, many items that you have um, customized and, and, uh, and are in my media. Okay, so this, this video is done, the one where the robots build the blocks, and I can click on the preview to kind of get a little look at what that looks like, and yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I'll just click the X to exit out, and from here I can download, um, I can download that video, I can click to save it forever, and if I click to save it forever, it's going to just be stored inside this My Media area for eternity until I delete it. If I don't choose to click to save, after 90 days, that video will be deleted and I'd have to go back and redo everything I did. So just make sure that you click to save if you want to save it forever and you can click as many um, items as you want to save. So. Um, just note with the, the free plan, if you signed up for the free plan, the click to save option is not available to you. So if you customize something, make sure you download it. Um, otherwise, it will be de deleted after 90 days. If you want to save your items forever, uh, just uh, upgrade to the unlimited plan and you can just save, 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 save as many as you want. Okay, so I'm going to download that first video to my computer. And as that other computer or the other video is still processing, I'm going to go to PowerPoint and it looks like I have some slides left over from my last tutorial. I'm just going to start with, I'm just going to go new just to start with a white background. Okay. Um, looks good. If I go to insert in the top menu and go over to the far right and click on video, and click this device. Um, I'm going to select that video that I, I customized and that loads into my PowerPoint. <clears throat> and if I 
if I preview that slide right now, so click on slideshow, preview from the beginning, nothing plays. That's because when it loads in um, the video, it's, it's set to always be on click. So if I click the, the screen, it'll start to play. So if you want it on to play automatically, select the video inside the work, uh, your PowerPoint work area, go to playback. Oh, I'm sorry, go to animations and click the little play button and then go to the far right and click on where it says on click, change that to previous. Now, if I shoot, if I play the slideshow, it'll play. Yep, it'll play right away. I don't have to click or anything like that. <clears throat> okay, let's go back to the home page on presenter media. That looks good. Okay, um, looks like this video is still processing the uh, the version one video. Um, just to save time, uh, like I said, you can keep working and doing stuff inside PowerPoint and that video will just keep processing in the background. Videos do take a little bit longer to process just because um, it's a lot more complex of a thing to customize um, than a clip art or animation. And it looks like as I'm saying that, the that video is now has now been customized. And if I preview it, it looks good. Yep, just how I imagined it to be. And I think that's all I'm gonna cover in this um, uh, getting started with uh, customizable videos. Um, be sure to check out other <clears throat> other video tutorials on the customizable items for clip art and animations as well. And those will be inside. If I click on custom animations, <clears throat> they'll be inside here. And wherever the title is, customizable animations, there should be a play button right next to that. And you click that, and you can and view the you can view the uh, video tutorial for those. All right, thanks for following along, and we'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye bye.